All right, so now that we have our part measured, we can start to report features. So to do that, we need to be in the model window. So we click the model tab, and we can see our part with all the measured features. Now in the drawing, the origin of my part is in the lower left-hand corner. So it's the intersection of this front line and the left line, or the left surface and the front surface. So I need to construct an intersection point. Right now, my trihedron is on that front left diameter. So in order to do that, I need to construct an intersection. So I click on that intersection tab, select my line on the front, my line on the left, and I click OK and it measures a point there, or constructs a point there. So now I need to make that my origin. So in the Construct tab, I go down to the Construct Datum Origin icon, I select that point, and it gives me a choice because there's two there, so I want step number 61 in for my program is the intersection. So I click OK, and I make that my XY origin. Now if we watch, that trihedron is going to snap over here, so we select OK. So now we've got our origin in the spot that it needs to be to start to measure this part, actually report the features. So now I'm going to construct a diameter because I'm going to start, I'm just going to do a sample of features to report. I'm not going to do all of them. So I'm just going to construct a diameter. So now I select that diameter in the front left. That's where I'm starting. I have to check composite. And then it gives me the diameter and the X and the Y location. So I'm going to check the diameter and the X and the Y because that's all I really need. And I can go to the Tolerances tab and I can type in my nominal. So the nominal size is 0.100. So I just type in 0.100 and I can tab over. My upper tolerance is 0.002. I can tab to the lower tolerance which is 0.002 continue to tab. My X nominal, which is left to right, is 0.126. Just type that in. Tab. My tolerance is going to be a default of plus or minus 0 0.003. So I type that in. My Y nominal is 0.126. And all of this is from the drawing. Tolerance is 0 0.003, that's my block tolerance. And I'm done, that's really all I want for this. And I click OK. Or I can click again if I wanted to report another diameter. So just to demonstrate that, I'm going to select again, and I'm going to select that diameter on the right. So I select that, it turns pink. I have to click Composite again to activate that. And then I want my diameter and my X and my Y. And I go to the Tolerances tab. And then I highlight that. And I just enter in my nominals. Again, the nominal diameter is 0.100. And my tolerance is 0 0.002, which carried over. My X axis nominal is 2.126. Tolerance is carried over. If I need to change them, I can. And my y axis is 0.126. And again, my tolerance is carry over. So I'm good there. So I click OK. So now I've reported out two dimensions. So now I'm going to do some distance dimensions. So on these slots that we did, we measured a line in the bottom of the slot or the front of the slot, one at the top of the slot or the back of the slot. So now I'm going to do the distance. So I go to my Construct tab and I select Distance. And I select the front line that I created and the back line. And I got my distance up here. It measures 0 0.50572. I select that distance. Go to my Tolerances tab. Go to the distance that I want, which is in the y-axis, and my drawing nominal is 
and my tolerance is 0 0.006, plus or minus 0 0.006, so I enter that in. And then I click OK because that's all I'm going to do there. I'm going to click on this Fit to Window tab to see my model. I'm going to do one more, a few more features. So I'm going to construct a line. I'm going to select this line, select composite, and I want the angle of that. So this top line here is the angle of that. The drawing requirement is 45 degrees. So we need to sometimes interpret that angle, so it's going to be a combination of 90 in some way. So if I take 135 minus 90, I get 45. So I know this is good. So I check that. Go to my tolerances tab. My nominal now, from the drawing it's 45 degrees, but I know it's Major mine is not measuring it exactly the right way, but I know it's correct. So I just add 90 and 45 and I get 135. And my tolerance is one degree. And I click OK. So now I've measured locations, I've measured distances, and I measured angles. I'm going to do one more because everything else is basically the same. So I'm going to measure this bolt circle. The drawing has a requirement of, of a 0.688 bolt circle. So I'm going to construct a circle of these circles. So I select each one of them and they're all turning pink so that I know I've selected them and I have my diameter. This is my bolt circle diameter. So I check that. It has a location in X and Y. So I'm going to select that. And then I click on my tolerances tab and I'm going to enter my nominal. So the nominal diameter is 0.688. And I tab over. And my block tolerance is 0 0.003. I'm going to change that to 0 0.003 and my x-axis location from the drawing is 1.126 and I tab over my block tolerance is plus or minus 3 and my y-axis is 0 0.751 for the nominal and my block tolerance is plus or minus 3 and I click OK. So now I've reported that. Now I'm going to save my program often because if something changes, I don't want to lose it. So I save that routine. So now we're going to do one more type of dimension. So I'm going to do an intersect of this line on the right of the part and this angled surface. So I do construct intersection. Click on that tab. I select that line and I select that line. It's asking me which one I want, and it's line 16, which is kind of hard to see there, but it's highlighted. It gives me the angle now of that line, which I could use to report. Um, what I'm looking for is the y-axis location, so I'm going to check the y-axis and select the tolerance. I only want my y, and that's 0.915 with a upper tolerance of 0 0.003 and a lower tolerance of 0 0.003. And then I am done, so I click OK. So now I've done about all of the different types of reporting, so now all you have to do is report out all of the results of that part that you measured. And it's either going to be distances or locations. So that's the end of this video on how to report out results when you have a program.